give you three reasons why it is actually possible for you to become an executive one day right i've got three top reasons for you and that's what we're going to be working on so guys let's keep tapping the screen let's not stop as you're listening listen with those fingers ta, 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 tapping the screen there right and then let's do this thing on a friday so guys the first one is you are already in the process of building the required experience okay so think about this if they put out an executive position and they're saying it requires 10 years, let's say, for example, within the IT sector, and you've already done six years in the IT sector, why not go all the way? Do you understand what I'm saying? You're already building the experience. You're going to get to 10 years one day. So why not, Nje, Uno Kubega, and just dream for that executive position? You are already there, right? So you might as well just push. You might as well just push. You're already building the experience. So it's not like they require you to start from the beginning. Whereas you have 10 years experience. So let's say, for example, 10 years experience, and then it says um, four years of that must be in a management position. You're already in year number one of being a manager, right? And then you're already year number six within uh, the, 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 the sector itself. So you're already building the experience. So why not go all the way? Keep improving yourself, right? And that goes to point number two. So point number two says, they might say 10 years experience, four years in managerial. Point number one says you're already building that. Now you're left with four more years before you can shoot for an executive position. So that gives you four years for you to work on your professional development, whether it's more qualifications, certifications, and your personal development in order to have the attributes of an executive, right? I'm talking about things like your emotional intelligence, uh, your, your patience, um, your integrity, uh, you know, your industry knowledge and all of that. So you have four years to build it. So why not? Why not? Why not just, just finish it up and go all the way and use that six years to actually improve yourself, right? And then the third one is that you have enough information and resources to research those positions. You guys know how I do all the time, right? When we're speaking about an executive position and what it requires and the experience and whatnot, I go on to LinkedIn, then I look at that particular executive position. Then I can see the experience, I can see the skills, I can see the qualifications, I can see the attributes. I can basically see everything that's required for that position. So you're already sitting with resources to research that. So if you look at these three points why you can be an executive manager, like it should not be impossible for you. You should not look at it and say it's something that is far-fetched. These, these are things that you need. And you are already in the process. So... When I'm saying to you guys shoot for executive positions, I'm not telling you to restart. I'm telling you about the trajectory where you are already going. You are already going there. I just want you to then be intentional, right? And don't let the years go by and everything flow by and then your experience flow by and whatever the case is. You get what I'm saying? It does. It, it really does not make sense. Ah, but Toby, thank you so much for the gift. I really appreciate you. You understand what I'm saying? So since, since in this end, Lane, you're already going there. Like, all you have to do is tweaks here and there. And the first tweak you need to make is to be intentional about it. And say, you know what? L let me now say I'm not going to gain just 10 years experience. But in that 10 years that I'm gaining, let me improve myself. Let me watch the required pod uh, podcasts. Right? Let me find myself a mentor. Let me interact with people on LinkedIn. Let me join LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn groups within my sector, right? Let me read industry news. Let me network with executives in the office. Let me put out all of the content that is required. You understand what I'm saying? It's like all you have to do is to shape it and be intentional. But you guys are already walking this journey. Already. Today, as we speak, you guys are walking that journey. You are going there. But Tungsan Bonana had phone issues. Did you all miss me? <laughs> Fifi, we did miss you. Ask his Hormobi how is giving you problems. Ne? So, guys, you are already walking that journey. You are already walking that direction. Because think about it. Go look for any executive position right now. And check what the requirements are and check what it's saying. And then you will see that most of the things that are required. Number one, you still have time to build them. Number two, you're already walking the journey. So why not change your mindset and say, okay, fine. Now I'm not walking the journey for free. Welcome back. Welcome back, Vivi. We love the drama, right? So if you guys are already walking there, guys, just be intentional now and say, I'm not walking for free anymore. 
I'm no longer working for just working. I'm not longer. I'm no longer working for just. You guys have gone so far into the process of being an executive. You don't even realize. You do, you don't understand how close you are. You don't understand how close you are because you are not looking that direction. But you are very close, guys. You've been working on this. You've been building on this from your first job. From the first job, you've been building this. Right. Edward says, I have the same years of industry experience as the executive I report to. I'm very close. Edward, you are there. You are there. You understand. Edward is like you are already there. It's just a couple of tweaks, Edward. Right. It's just a couple of tweaks that you need to make. And those tweaks that you need to make are not even that expensive. Right. Christopher, thank you so much for the wait. Right. They are not even that expensive. Those tweaks that you need to make, guys. You are, you are, you are already there. Okti saying, yo, true coach. It is true. It is true. You guys have started possessing those qualities. It's just that you must just stop playing around and say, I am now doing it intentionally. Honestly speaking, I am now doing it intentionally. Guys, in Naha Loan Sevens, think about it. Right? Gather all your experience. Your industry experience. In the industry that you're in, how long have you been working there? And I'm talking about, guys, when I'm saying how long you've been working there, I'm including internship. I'm studying at that level. I'm, I'm including internship. If you volunteered before that, I'm also counting that. So count the years that you have in your industry and count that experience, right? Mikey M, thank you for following. Guys, if you're not following me, make sure that you are following me, right? Guys, in this group, we are called the Fetch Army. We're a group of professionals that every day are working towards getting into an executive position with no fear, with no excuses, so if you're new in this live, make sure that you follow and welcome to the Fetch Army, right? So you guys are already going there. Count the number of experience. So you don't want your experience to be wasted. Your experience needs to reward you. It needs to count for something. Guys, they're crying in the car, right? They're waking up in the morning and not feeling like going. That one manager who was giving you problems and troubles, don't let that all be in vain. Let that be part of you growing and building your character and understanding the industry and getting there. So you guys are already building the experience. So go count how many years you're already in the, in the thing. Do what Edward just did now. Edward says, the years, I'm done with them. So Edward, that means when you are in a very good space because what you are going to be working on when Edward is just point number two. That's what you're going to be working on. Okay. I have the years now. What are the attributes? of an executive. I mentioned a few of them. Integrity, I've mentioned leadership, I've mentioned emotional intelligence, um, I've mentioned time management, you know, um, most importantly, industry talk, industry knowledge, understanding the industry, right? Couple of other um, skills like your public speaking, right? So that you are able to engage external stakeholders and all of that, right? Because a position of an executive is a position of influence. So, guys, that's the only thing then that's left. If your years are tip top, and guys, you must remember, the years don't stop. So, every day you are in your sector, you are building experience. But I want you to build it intentionally, right? So, every day learn something new about the industry. Learn new software about the industry. Learn new processes and systems about the industry. But, guys, importantly, meet people in the industry. Go meet people in the industry. LinkedIn has made it so easy for you. That if you want to meet an executive in the construction sector, they are there on LinkedIn. You just need to send them a connection request and start following them, right? I remember the kinds of friends that I've made on LinkedIn. Guys, even today, I still appreciate them. I've got a professional circle. I don't want to call them friends, right? Because I don't believe in, in friends per se. But acquaintances and people that I know, people that I can lean on. We started with an inbox on LinkedIn we ended up with emails, and then we ended up with cell phone numbers, right? I'm thinking about Umpo from Sun International, and I went to their office not too long ago, right? I'm thinking on my project with the minds that I'm doing for small businesses. The lady that I'm working with, that I met her a couple of years ago um, within, um, on, on LinkedIn, and then we started connecting. Even the new manager that they just appointed now, she said to me when I met her, I know you, I know you from LinkedIn, and already she knows my background, so it was easy. So, guys, that's what that is what you have to do. Go meet people in the industry. Start a new circle outside your current circle. 
LinkedIn groups. People are sleeping on LinkedIn groups. Guys, whatever AI apps or software that your interest, industry uses, make sure you learn about it. Exactly, Sibu. Because AI is going to take over. That's why I'm saying, guys, understand your industry so well. Right? When, where is AI going to come in when it comes to your particular industry? Because the director of the future, guys, the director of the future is very technologically advanced. The director of the future understands the impact of technology and AI on the whole economy, not just the business, on the whole sector. So that's what you need to do. That's step number two. Be intentional. Be intentional, guys. Interact with people. Don't just sit in a company and nobody knows about you and then you know nothing about anybody else. And the only thing you know is a spreadsheet on your computer. So that's what happens sometimes, right? We go into this rabbit hole of being too operational. And the only thing you understand is literally that spreadsheet. How does that spreadsheet connect to the rest of the business? Which departments does this spreadsheet connect to? And at the end of the day, whatever you're collecting on that spreadsheet, how does it influence industry? So you need to take it to the next level. Guys, you are not employed by mistake. Everybody in a company plays a specific role. And the top end of it is influencing the whole entire industry and becoming a game changer in the whole industry. That's what you are involved in. So your job is not something that was picked for you because they said, hey, this person, we like her, man. Uh, let's create some spreadsheet that doesn't make sense. That's not even connected to the company and just give it to her before we, because we like her or we like him. That is not why you're employed. There's a role in which that spreadsheet does. So whenever you see industry changing, you know industry is improving. You had a hand in it, guys. You need to be proud of yourselves. You, you had a hand in it. The more you start thinking about that is the more your conversation and your language changes, right? So I've got a couple of comments in one of my posts where somebody was saying, um, one thing that will get you an executive is knowing English. Um, uh, they, there's a couple of things I agreed with, which I want to clarify, right? There's a couple of things that I did not agree with completely, right? So they mentioned the whole issue of English, but they're mentioning these things like it's a problem. Yeah, you need to know English if you're going to be an executive director. And you also need to know people if you're going to be an executive director. Right? You need to have connections. So they're saying it like it's a problem. Of course, you need to know English, especially industry English. Because otherwise, how are you going to sit on, on the table and discuss big industry issues if you don't understand your industry terms. So it's, there's nothing wrong with that. People are like, yeah, but so if you director of Zulu, if director of Sutu, Tswana, Kosa, Africans, you understand what I'm saying? So industry talk is actually English-based. So that's why you need to know that. So there's nothing wrong with it. You can't sit and complain about it, right? Hi, Nanali, Captain, thank you for coming through. Good afternoon, Lady D. You understand what I'm saying, guys? So yes, it is true. Number two, they said, yeah, you need connections. Of course you need connections. But let's define what connections are. By connections, we're not talking about your aunt works in this private sector and then they employ you in there. By connections is what I'm talking about. You know people in the industry because you connected with them on LinkedIn and then they like you. They like your thinking. They like your style. Hi, Ngaba. Welcome, moderator. You understand what I'm saying? It's like now you are connected with people that can recommend you for jobs. Whenever an executive position comes up, those people can actually... Nanali, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You understand what I'm saying, guys? So, yes, you do need connections. But when we're talking about connections, we are not talking connections in the form of corrupt connections and brown envelopes. That's not what we're talking about here. So people act like it's wrong to, if you've built a network, guys, if you've been networking, you met the right people, directors appreciate your conversations at conferences and stuff like that and whatnot. Connections and networks are meant to be utilized. So there's nothing wrong with a person who got a directorship position because they are connected. As long as that connection is not, you slept with somebody, you bribed somebody and whatnot. So the word connections, why on LinkedIn? It, people on, what do you call people on LinkedIn that are friends with you on LinkedIn? We call them connections. That's what LinkedIn calls them. It's not even the term that I came up with, right? LinkedIn says these are your connections. So it's people that you are connected to, not just physically, digitally, but also in terms of the sector. So there's nothing wrong with connections. So that's what people are complaining about. The last one that people complain about is that, yeah, the color of your skin counts as well. Okay, guys, that one I have a big problem with. I really do. Um... Millie Page says, connections, let's start there. Anyone in the gate, a uh, deco, events, business, I do wedding and events and stationery. Good for you, Millie Page. You see, you are connecting yourself now, right? That's what you're doing. But Millie Page, what I would say is go on LinkedIn as well because you are missing a very big 
uh, client base there. So go on LinkedIn, but make sure your LinkedIn um, does not look like a catfish because your uh, TikTok uh, is very catfishy there. Um, millipede you know you can see there's no profile picture there. so just make sure your stuff is clean you know it's make, it makes it easier attending your industry free workshops and events is important to learn from different people exactly exactly that's how you make connections so guys there's nothing wrong with connections so let's speak about the the color of the skin one okay guys i've been working in the transformation sector for 14 years and i understand what people are saying right um let's see let's say he's saying i wrote a post on linkedin two weeks ago that got over 50k impression it gave me new connections there you see let's say those are guys let's say please tell us how you did that post that got 50k impressions because clearly you are on fire when it comes to linkedin right share with our people share with our people you know uh thanks for the advice we are learning i'm happy you, re you are learning millipede i'm happy you are learning right um i am ju junior clinical research Woo! You see, guys, when junior people start putting top content, and then when I say, please, you you can people now know why it's important to put that because, guys, 50k impressions that means it has reached so many people, that means there was so much knowledge in that post that you got new connections. Now, there are people that are aware of Lisey, right? So, if an executive position comes through, Lisey gets an inbox, right? And then they ask her out for lunch, and then they like you getting that because, guys, you must remember a lot of executive positions you don't even apply for, they are not like your normal application sometimes it's a group of people that say we need to appoint somebody in this position and then you come through and then they appoint you so that's what you need to understand so yes connections are important right go cry somewhere else guys that's just how the world works if you're not networking it is your problem and it is it is, it is your fault at the end of the day right so uh, let's say i'm so glad you, you spoke about the linkedin and the 50k impressions guys that's why you need to keep posting guys on linkedin one of your posts is going to start catching on and catching on and catching on that's how i that's how i grew it i then noted who viewed my profile and sent them direct messages to secure appointments you see guys guys this is how you treat linkedin you see what let is speaking about this is what happens when you are so focused guys you are so focused she didn't go to school to learn this she came up with a way to navigate and build connections she's set for the future set for the future right yes nanali guys if you are feeling uh this message if you are feeling this master class please double tap on the screen guys and then let's get to 20k likes by half past right if you feel like you are learning something let's just double tap double tap double tap right if you feel like you're not learning anything don't double tap just uh, put me into order and then i'll get into order right but guys let's go so guys um it's it, the, the, the one with the color of your skin what i was saying is i've i've worked in the transformation space for a very long time I know for a fact that when you look at the employment equity report, right, and let's fix this very quickly. The employment equity report does show that a lot of top management positions, which is your directorship positions, are mostly filled by um, the Caucasian people. It's there. It's, it's, it's a clear report. I am not denying it at all. I am not denying it at all. But what I understand is that because we need to get into those spaces, we can no longer do the ordinary stuff. That's why I bring you guys extraordinary things that you can do. There are certain things that when you do, it's hard to ignore them. Whether you are gatekeeping or not, it's just too clear that you cannot be ignored. No, coach, what do you mean they mustn't double tap? No, I said they must double tap. <laughs> oh, no, Nanali, I said if they are not learning anything, I don't want to force them to double tap. Guys, sorry, let me leave the tapping at department alone. That is an analyst department. Nanali, sorry, I'm infringing in your department as the um, executive director of the, of, of the crowd. I'm sorry, I'm getting out of it, right? Do your magic, do your magic, right? So that's, that's what I'm saying, guys. It's, as much as it's difficult to get into those top positions, we need to start doing extraordinary stuff. I made it. I did extraordinary stuff and then I got in there, right? And I want you guys to do extraordinary. So basically, the usual is not suitable anymore where by luck you will get up there when, when there are gatekeepers. But also, number two, one thing I want you to note, guys, is that it's not everywhere where that is the case. It's not everywhere, right? So the PE commissioner released the report in terms of what sectors are problematic right so the banking sector for example is problematic uh the construction sector is problematic but if you look at other sector like your it and whatnot it's like they've made progress there are black women that are sitting there right the ceo of, of, of microsoft south africa for example is a black woman right so yes there are issues i'm not denying that there are issues but i'm just saying that you can't say that's your excuse to sit and do nothing and not do anything extraordinary right why not enjoy the challenge why not laugh and love the challenge 
You understand what I'm saying? Um, please leave Nana Lee. <laughs> we wonder why execs must leave us admin to do our job. Ask I am so sorry, guys. Um, Nana Lee is the executive director of, of, of the crowd. I will leave it up to her. But you understand, guys. So you cannot say all of these challenges. Yes, they are present in, in, in employment equity reports. I've seen them. I work in the sector even now. You understand? So I've seen them. I'm not denying them. I'm just saying, Guti, just because that's the situation, are we going to sit back, relax, or are we going to go do extraordinary things? You understand what I'm saying? There are things that we need to do. It's all us. Work beating, got to go, family, stay winning. Cool stuff, Lebo Hang Langa. Thank you for coming through. Really appreciate you. Right? So, guys, we... we whole thing. I'm not blind, guys. I, I know those things exist. But, guys, are we going to sit back and relax? Who's going to win the change? It's not politicians that are going to win the change, right? It's not other gatekeepers that are going to win the change. Do you know who's going to win the change? The Fetch Army. The Fetch Army. And we're going to do it without toy toying in the streets. We're going to do it through learning all of these things in this masterclass and rush corporate and kick the doors. Tactically, strategically. So the Fetch Army, guys, is a bigger cause than anything. People ask me, why do you run this platform? I said, because I want more black executives. That's what I'm looking for. I want to build the next army of black executives. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but we can't rest on the fact that we're not white. Exactly. We can mitigate such. We, we will, Fifi. That's why we are here, right? Teach them how to write posts and how to write a newsletter plus how to use AI for content. Exactly. So we've been speaking about content for a very long time. Uh, Lissedi, please um, go to, 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 to YouTube, uh, Kerry Emporium, and check some of the master classes. It's very, very important. It's very, very, very important. I don't know why gatekeepers keep information away from us. Because they don't want you there. See, but they don't want you there. It's as simple as that, right? There's no other excuse. Thank you, Christopher. There's no other excuse. There's no other explanation. They don't want you there, right? So it's this big war that's happening. But this war can only be conquered by an army that is united, that is not making excuses, that's willing to go there. And you know what that army is called? It's called the Fetch Army. And that's us. We are the Fetch Army in this life. So, guys, these are the three reasons why you can be an executive. You can be. You know, but in between, PC Mad, thank you for coming through. But in between, guys, you have to make sure that you become an extraordinary lady, an extraordinary gentleman, right? Or however you receive, you, 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 you know, you refer to yourself. Guys, the things that I had to do in order not to be ignored for, 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 for executive positions is I did extraordinary things. I put my hand up to speak at conferences. My first conference, I was nervous as hell. It went horribly, but I still took the next one, right? Whenever they wanted me to write on, pub somebody to write on publications, I would volunteer myself and teach myself to write and do industry analysis and understand industry language, right? I had to do extraordinary things. So I was not just a person who comes in and then is focused on operations and whatnot. I had to do extraordinary things. Boom, age 35, I became an executive. It was a long road ahead, but I was not relaxed. I was not being just a normal everyday person. I had to do extraordinary stuff. And guys, the things that you sacrifice in the process are also very important. If you're going to make big changes in your life, right, you cannot have the same old life. That is not going to count. So there are things that you need to let go of. But also, guys, there's a lot of healing that a lot of people need to do. Some of y'all are so traumatized by your boss from five years ago that you are not putting in your whole entire effort because you remember that voice that says, yeah, you'll never do it and all of that, right? So, guys, we need to fix that as well. So we need to fix ourselves in order to get there, right? Um, we outsmart gatekeepers by competence and commitments. That's what I'm saying. Mr. Gift, you can outsmart these people. Guys, gatekeepers are not the, the brightest people. You need to remember that, right? And I'm sorry to say this if you are a gatekeeper in here. I hope we don't have any gatekeepers in here. But gatekeepers are not very smart people. That's why they can't compete fairly. They know you're going to beat them if they compete fairly. So what they do is they start their own cartel to gatekeep information. But they are, not, they are not the smartest people. The moment you start killing conferences, appearing on TV, appearing on radio, appearing everywhere, right? They are trying to they are trying to to they are trying to get you not to be known in the company. So this is this was my situation, right? Something that moved me up. Somebody was trying to get me to not be known in the company. 
But because I was writing articles on LinkedIn and other people externally started gaining interest in me and they started calling me for interviews. Do you know what happens now? All of a sudden, they've put me in to write a letter, um, an article in financial mail. My directors that are bigger than my gatekeeper, they read the financial mail. Do you see now you can't hide me anymore? I'm there. Now they know me. Right. And then Dr. J.J. Tabani said, come to Newsroom Africa, you'll get a regular slot. And then we did a couple of shows. Now the top guys see me on TV. Do you see you can't hide me anymore? Do you see that you cannot hide me anymore? So you can't even talk crap about me anymore because the moment you say, no, this guy knows nothing. They're going to be like, excuse, excuse me. Can we show this, you the screenshot? Listen to how this guy is reasoning. So you outsmart them. You outsmart these people. Right. Your, your articles on LinkedIn, guys, that's something that I picked up later. Right. Something that I picked up later is that sometimes people take screenshots of your articles on LinkedIn or whatever you posted on LinkedIn. And those things without you seeing, they are circulating in the industry. Apparently, screenshots of some of my articles were circulating in the industry. People that I don't even know to the point that they even got into government and whatnot. So whenever I would walk into a, to a conference, I was like a celebrity. Hey, we know you. Da, da, da. The respect was there. And my other bosses can see that. And this one who was trying to hide me now is like, I can't hide him anymore. So you start moving up. You outsmart them. They are not the smartest people. I can tell you that. Don't worry about gatekeepers. Useless, 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 useless. Weak, nothing. There's nothing there. It's not, it's not, it, it, they are not a tough opponent, guys. So don't worry about gatekeepers. Well, no, you just need to do your thing. You just need to do your thing. That's all. Thank you for double tapping, guys. We're close to 20K likes. Guys, I just need to go through comments. Uh, there's a couple of comments that I've missed. Um, sitting by your desk and thinking you're doing company a favor. You will remain where you are. Get involved. Thank you, Fifi. Fifi, put your hand up because, guys, you're not doing it for the company. Guys, if there's a major project that's happening and they're saying people need to sit here, you need to understand you are in a company that's full of lazy people. People are not going to volunteer to go to conferences because, yeah, what do I get in return? People are not going to volunteer to sit in special projects because, like, yeah, why should I do extra? That's your opportunity. Take those extra projects. Put your hand up. It gets you to network with um, other stakeholders. But on top of that, you learn new skills. You understand? So, guys, get involved. You can't just sit there. Gatekeepers are weak because they're afraid of challenge. Fifi, you know, I said this before I even saw your, your, your comment. They are weak, weak. Guys, don't worry about gatekeepers, please. They're not the smartest people. I think the only thing that's threatening about them is their positions. But guys, they are nothing. True, they ignore you until the world wants to work with you. You see, there's, that, that's what Lissette is saying, right? They will try to gatekeep and hide you until the world wants you. And then all of a sudden, people want to counter offer you. Me, I don't take counter offers. When I've said I'm going, I'm going. I'm not going to take a counter offer from me. But you cannot just appreciate me. Me too. Someone told me that I was trending on WhatsApp groups. Exactly. You know, exactly. That's what happens, Lisaidi. Guys, if you post, I'm telling you, people will know you without you noticing, right? Um, People think they enslave themselves by volunteering, not knowing they are growing. Thank you very much, Sibu. You see, guys, what you're talking about is extraordinary stuff. So if we're going to rush corporate, guys, as the Fetch Army, because everybody who's here, we've got 42 people in here. All of you guys are future executives. The timelines might be different, right? Some of you guys are closer than the others. But you guys, all of you, you need to, you need to keep coming. We need to constantly create, create a pipeline. And those who are already on top or you're closer to the top, you better be mentoring two or three people. When new interns come in, you better be recruiting them into the Fetch Army because you guys are the extension of the Fetch Army. Whatever you do there, you're going to do it outside. One lady by the name of Yolanda posted something on LinkedIn and put the hashtag, hashtag Fetch Army. I was like, yeah, now the Fetch Army is actually going on to LinkedIn because you guys own the Fetch Army hood as well. You are a very big part of this army. Right. It's not all about timing. So I have moved to corporate department now in internal comms, which will be in in same rooms as execs. Look at PC Matt. PC Matt is there. PC Matt, take advantage of it and be intentional about it. Learn the industry talk. Right. PC Matt, engage. Right. So don't just be there and disappear and whatnot, guys. Engage and make sure you speak to these people. Right. One company I used to work for, we used to call it the third floor. Third floor, big she's. Third floor, big cheese. All the executives were on the third floor. Not everybody was on the third floor. But after I've done extraordinary things, they even invited me that as from now on, if you want to make cappuccino, you make it on the third floor. I was the third floor guy. But whenever I was there, I was not just walking around. I was engaging. Yes, PC man. I was engaging like nobody's business. And I was not winning all the time. But the more I listened to them is the more I learned. The day they invited me for a board meeting, oh my God. And they invited me to the next board meeting. I was like, I'm gone. 
I'm gone here. Here I've done my job. I've really done my job. And there were people that were smarter than me, right? So guys, listen. There were people that were smarter than me and more academically qualified than me. When I'm talking about smart, I'm talking about book smarts, right? You know, what I had was street smarts. How to talk to people, how to navigate. Guys, some of us, you know where we were born, right? Street smarts, Jay, is, is, is our big advantage that we never use. You know, guys, where we were born. And we learned the street smarts. Those street smarts, let me tell you something. Those street smarts, let me tell you something, guys. They will help you to navigate like no other person. While people, Bapi, is by us, and they have excuses, and they're constantly in the kitchen gossiping, like they want to take over the company, over Pinky and the brain. I'm telling you, you leave them alone. When you navigate, guys, you know where we come from. I grew my career by volunteering. Mr. Gift, I still volunteer even today. Even today. Even this is my volunteer work that I'm doing right now. Because that's how you keep on growing. I'm learning a lot from you guys as well. My business becomes better, right? That's what happens. You learn from other people. You learn from industries. You learn from people outside, right? So guys, I'm going to run through these three reasons again. Guys, if you're not following me, make sure that you're following me. By following me, you become part of the Fetch Army. The Fetch Army has no excuses. We go and we fetch those top positions, right? If you feel like you are learning from this, please double tap the screen or Nana Lee is going to block you i'm kidding she's not gonna block you but she's gonna scream at you right so let's double tap the screen if we're learning something right and guys just a couple of reminders for those who just came through now number one make sure that you follow number one two make sure that you like number three make sure that you share but most importantly please go to careeremporium.co.za there's the website go read blog articles about how you can be an extraordinary person in life and reach an executive position you can also go read my story about how i became an executive at 35 um go to the youtube channel career Emporium as well go check previous master classes guys while you're there please like the videos and also subscribe so that youtube can actually you know promote the videos to other people then we can fetch them and bring them onto tiktok and they, they can become part of our army so like and subscribe while you're there guys go on linkedin you will find the career emporium page but you also find the career emporium group where i post um latest vacancies follow career emporium on twitter it's still a little bit empty there but we're getting there and then we've got a small instagram account you can go there if instagram is easier for you right but the linkedin ones are important because i'm trying to get you guys to be on linkedin and be forced to interact on linkedin right so please just go make sure that you check all of that out so let's rehash these three points number one guys you are already in the process of building the experience that is required to be an executive this is something that is just happening to you by default every day you spend at work it's building towards the experience that's required for an executive position. If an executive position requires 10 years, that is already happening to you automatically. Every day you wake up, you are building towards the 10 years experience. So you might as well go all the way. You might as well just be intentional about it and just go all the way. That 10 years you're going to get into unless if But as long as you've been working from internship, guys, you are already building towards this. So why not go all the way again, right? Number two, you still have time for your professional and personal development. I need you guys are not dead. You are still alive. You've got, right? You've got your senses. You've got your brains, right? You've got your hearing. You've got your comprehension, right? So as long as you still have that, that means you still have time to improve some of those skills and the qualifications that are required for an executive position. So all of your personal attributes, like your uh, in integrity, your emotional intelligence, you have time to build all of that. So you might as well just do it. You understand? Because you have the capability. And some of it is free, guys. It's free. It's by watching podcasts. It's by watching YouTube videos. It's by attending this live. It's by doing a 250 course on Udemy. It's by booking a 450 coaching session with me. There's a lot of things that are just not expensive. Some is free. Some is very cheap. So since you are already on your way there, why not just improve those skills in the process? You, you, you understand, it won't kill you, just, just go with it. And the third one is you already have enough information and resources, uh, resources to research these appointments. Guys, you just go on LinkedIn and check what an executive position is. You go on Google, you check what an executive position is, right? You connect with executive directors with dif in different industries and you say to them, can you please uh, mentor me or something? So if you do these three things, guys, this is all you need to do. I, I don't see anything difficult here. I really don't see anything difficult here. I see that it might take away your time. 
uh, you might have to compromise on certain things that you like, like going out. I see a couple of sacrifices and compromises that you 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 need to make, but I don't see anything impossible and difficult here. I, I, I seriously don't. My exec is going on maternity later this year. I should be ready to step in. Edward, once, once you step into that, you are gone. There's no coming back. So go work on all of those qualities and attributes. Guys, remember what I said to you guys. Now. Some of the things that you need to become an executive, they don't need school. They need personal development. You understand what I'm saying? They don't need school. They need personal development. So it's not necessarily you have to go spend 30000 on a diploma and stuff. No. Some of these things is personal development, which means you teach yourself to become that person and become those qualities by following specific leaders on, on LinkedIn and studying how they think, studying how they talk, studying how they articulate themselves, like studying how they interact with people. Some of those things are free. Some of them are very cheap, not more than 500 bucks, Right. So you have already that information to research all of those things. So guys, I don't see anything that is impossible here. Do you guys see anything impossible? Give me a yes or a no. Give me yes, this is impossible. Give me a no, this is not impossible, right? Do you guys see anything difficult about this? Like, is, do you, is this something that you think will break your back or will even kill you? Do you think this is something that will even send you to your grave because it's so difficult, it's so impossible, right? So give me the no in the comments. There you go. Edward is saying no. What are you guys thinking? Are you saying no? Are you saying yes? Is this impossible, guys? Is this, will this kill you, right? Vinolia saying nothing is impossible. Mamtolo saying this is definitely possible, right? No, it's not possible. There you go. It is smile. Yes, it is very much possible. Exactly. You know. So guys, I mean, I'm not this. I, you're already in the process, guys. Nope, it's possible. There you go, Okti. Right? Nah, Revely saying nah. You know, it's not. I mean, but is saying hundred percent doable. Right? If someone is doing it, why not you? You know what, Edward? I was gonna say that impossible is nothing. No, it's possible. There you go is saying. Right. What you put in your mind is po guys, I'm loving this positiveness. Right. And guys, remember, we are not being positive nyana without solutions. Right. So we are not just being yes people here. So for those who just came in and they're like, ah, oh, these people are just saying no. No, we've got practical steps. They, they are sitting there. So we come with a plan. This is not a preaching platform. Right. We come with a plan. There's a plan. That's what we need to do. So I'm loving that you guys are positive about this and you're saying, yes, let's go. Let's push. And I'm saying also, let's go and let's push. You understand? So um, I was going to comment on Edward's comment, right? So Edward's comment is basically saying, if somebody's doing it, why not you? Guys, the reason why I've put my story on my website, kerempuram.co.za, in terms of how I became an executive at 35, the reason why I'm putting up that story is because I'm not bragging. I'm trying to show you that I was born in Mamelodi, right? Person of color, right? Grew up like everybody else. And I did it. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to show you when I put that thing there. And not just did it. I'm still doing it. Because I'm still serving in an executive director position. Even though I'm running my own business. They wanted me as a director so bad. That even when I rejected them, I said, no, guys, I've started my business. They said, please, right? You will work remotely and then you will, you will work your own hours. We will not bother you. That's what happened. So my, the rest of my life is going to be executive position after executive position. On a project basis, on a freelance basis, whatever the case is. So that's why I've put my story there so that I am your example, the guy that's talking to you right now. I'm your example. If I did it, right? It's not like I was born in special circumstances, rich parents connected, knowing government. My parents actually did not know anybody outside Mami Lodi. But I was a director in Senten. I was a director in Four Ways. I was a you understand what I'm saying? So my uncles, none of them in top corporate. My sisters, my brothers, none of them in top corporate. It's me, 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 me navigating and me, me, me figuring out. That's why I'm sharing these things with you. And the way I did it, guys, it's not what they teach you in school or in textbooks, right? So you guys can do it. You guys can do it. So go check out my story, read it. It will motivate you. You will get in there. You will do it. Some of you guys are close. Some of you guys, actually, I will be even honest with you. Some of you guys are even more brilliant than me. That's why I believe every day that you guys will actually even go further than I've ever even gone. Like some of you guys are brilliant. I listen to you when you engage. I follow you on, on LinkedIn. I see the things that you post. I see your mindset. I see your qualities. And let me tell you something. Some of y'all is more brilliant than me. You understand? Cares, hi. You understand what I'm saying? So you guys, you guys can do it, right? You guys can do it. Guys, let's double tap to 30K. We're on 25.K. 30K is even possible, right? If you feel like you are learning, right? Um, so guys, please, um, 
follow each other as well like follow my moderators especially so guys we have a whatsapp group sometimes it's difficult to get into the whatsapp group guys i don't know what the technical problem is with the whatsapp group sometimes when you click it it asks you to download the app and then it's all the complications so if you are following my moderators right especially um our top general moderator but and then Okti, and then Nana Lee as well, the captain, right? If you follow those three people and you're struggling with the LinkedIn uh, uh, thingy, just inbox them, and then they will try, because they are admins on the WhatsApp group, they will try and add you physically into the group, right? Or you can inbox me your number as well, right? Guys, we won't use your number to shell you. It's fine. We, we strictly use them to add you into the WhatsApp group. So your numbers are safe. Don't even worry right so guys let me know if you've got any questions for me in the meantime let's just double tap and get to 30k likes that will be a nice record for us you know but toby our managing director as if you oh papa agapapi agapapi ufifi the drama agapapi agapapi so good to be back on your lives Angie, how are you doing? Angie, welcome back. Welcome back, Angie. It's, it's really good to see you. It's really, really good to see you, right? So, guys, yeah, man, let's double tap to 30K. And let me know if you have any questions or comments, guys, please. Um, What motivation do you yourself have for the Fetch Army, right? Let's say he was just sharing some nice tricks and tips and whatnot, right, as we tap the screen, right? Um, what, 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 what else do you guys have? What is your view... Uh, with networking and where can we network to meet the right people that is a good one really missed your lives i bold thank you for coming through i hope you back forever everybody who just came back i hope you back forever Kaz, let me tell you right linkedin for me is the easiest platform to network because if there aren't any events or events are happening too far right linkedin will always be there interacting with people's um content agreeing giving your points you know giving a full-on um comment not just a yes or no or i agree or whatnot right and then giving your view in the comments and the person comments back and then you comment back that's networking because you guys are getting to know each other you guys are impressed with each other and then it becomes easier for you guys to say hey do you want to do a zoom meeting and whatnot that is what networking is so linkedin is your first first biggest bet the second one is go to webinars webinars it's very difficult to network because um you have to network on the comments and everybody is typing right so it becomes very tricky but i've mastered it i know how to pick one person and network with them especially if they are making points that i agree with right and then all of the conference speakers after we're done i go and i connect with them on linkedin as well so for me it will boil down to linkedin linkedin is your networking zone right uh improvements on my linkedin profile is helping a lot thank you for the help no problem no problem both i'm happy that your linkedin is getting alive guys how do your linkedin profiles uh, look please let me know how your linkedin profiles look uh, it's but toby lee nana lee then not the other way <laughs> yes i uh, guys nana lee is disciplining me today guys age moderators are gonna end up my own moderators gonna end up blocking me and running away from me you know um so yeah guys but yeah i have uh, linkedin is your best bet guys guys how do your linkedin profiles look Eta, my coach, Ikepu, thank you for coming through. Kepelimnya, thank you for coming through, boss. I see you, I see you. So, guys, rate your own LinkedIn profiles, right? Put for me in the comments. Um, 10 being the best, uh, 1 being the worst, right? Let's see. Let's see your own ratings, right? And, guys, don't blow your own horn for nothing, right? Put for me there. Put for me there. Out of 10, 6 out of 10, Kes, that's not bad. Not good, it's a 3. Woo, Sibu, book your LinkedIn session, please. Come through. Batobile, Batobile, yours is not a 7. Mm-mm. But Tobile, yours is a nine. I disagree. But Tobile's one is a nine. I disagree. Uh, five, Mamtolo, that's good. Mine is horrible. I will book a session with you, Mina. Fifi, come through. Fifi, I think I've got your number. WhatsApp you. Then you can come through. Nanali, six out of ten. Nanali, yeah, six out of ten. Uh, Mamagashaga, six out of ten. Okay, that's good. Uh, Christopher, <laughs> Christopher's one is good. Christopher is ten. He's a link. Christopher is a LinkedIn guy. Um, okay, bold eight. I'm happy. Uh, four definitely could be better. Okay, Mr. Unchained, book your session and let's do it. Itu smiles gave herself a ten. Woo, Itu. Well done, well done. I still need to work on mine. Okay, cool stuff. Okay, I still need to send you an email anyway so that we can work on yours. Um, do I book via email? Uh, Sibu, you book via kdaemporium.co.za, but what you can do is that you can inbox me your email address um, if you're too lazy to go to the web, uh, website, and then I will um, email you back, and then we will have a uh, booking detail. 6.5 from Lungi. See, okay, mine is 9. Mm -hmm. Even have a background pick. Listen to Refilo M. Yeah, I see Abuyala. Uh, PC Med, are you saying 2 or 12? 
Because if you're saying tw oh, two, oh, I was like, yo, you pissy mad. The confidence, I love it. User, four, ah, user, you must come for a LinkedIn session. We need to get you to a 10 at least. Oh, guys, go, go read, go, 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 go uh, watch the, the master classes on YouTube, And also go read the blog articles on uh, That will help you. ECN is four. ECN, you must come for a session when. How are you saying? You can't be a four when I saying and then a whole. I mean, come on now. Uh six at best. Okay, Kepo, I see you. Uh need a pick as well. Okay, cool. So I mean, guys, if you want me to help you, we do a one hour session where we literally sit and work on your LinkedIn profile, right? Literally, we sit and we work on your LinkedIn profile. By the time we're done, guys, if I can tell you the reactions of people that are building their LinkedIn profiles, it's my favorite, favorite, favorite thing. I must just ask them for permission to, to actually record them. So you see somebody build their LinkedIn profile, né? and then they put the, 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 the profile picture, and then we discuss the headline, and then they put the headline, and then we discuss um, uh, we discuss the, the cover image and whatnot. And then after they put those things, you should see how people blush at their own LinkedIn profiles. All of them. Like, it's, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's my favorite reaction ever. Like, I'm going to start asking them, like, guys, can I please record you? They, they, like, they literally blush when they see their own LinkedIn profile coming together. You know, so yeah, guys, um, please come through. Just make sure, just make sure. Um, 30K fam, yes, 30K fam, let's go. Thank you, Christopher, let's go. We'll book a session with you, my coach. Isiang, I'll be waiting for you. Guys, if, if, you can, if, you, if you can't book on the website because maybe you're struggling to navigate and you want to book a session, whether it's LinkedIn or your, cash, your, your, your professional coaching, right? Just go, then inbox me here on TikTok and say, this is my email address. I want a LinkedIn session or this is my email address. Um, I'm looking for a... Um, a career coaching uh, session right so that we can work on your strategy to become an executive just 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 yeah, just just send it there but on the website it's very easy right you can just click book it tells you book a linkedin session book a career coaching session book this you just click book you make your payment and then you're done then i will email you if you pay via eft guys please email me and tell me you've paid via eft because um sometimes your references i don't pick them up so i can see there's money that came through but i don't know so a couple of people did that and it was difficult to trace them so just make sure that you do that nanali is saying i will not i'm not I can't do shout outs before 30k. Okay, Nanali, I'm listening. Uh, if you're saying no shout outs before 30k, then I will mm, zip my mouth. I will definitely book a session. Sipo, I see you. Uh, if you ask, it won't be genuine. Yes. Uh, please review my LinkedIn. I Tani MT, inbox me and book a LinkedIn profile session. I know a lot of people, I uh, used to do free LinkedIn uh, profile uh, sessions a um, long time ago. Uh, it's a good investment, actually. It is, hey, Kez, it is right? It's a very good investment, you know? So yeah, guys, um, let's get to 30k. Otherwise, Nanali is not going to let me go. And then guys, it's Friday. I know Hore, you want to go past by tops there, you know, but I don't believe in leaving you guys without shout outs, you know? So I think let's push it up. But guys, um, please read these three points, guys, right? Read these three points, guys. It's, it's possible. Oh, guys, um, please go check the refer and end program as well, right, on the website. So the refer and end program is every time you bring in a new client, you get 100 bucks. I was talking about a lady who brought five people last week and I paid her 500 bucks and was like, yo, it's money for the week. No, it was this week, actually. And I was like, yes, can I let 500 run for the weekend, you know? And also, if you want to set it up as a side hustle, we can get into a formal service level agreement, right, where you can get all of the marketing materials. You become part of the affiliate. You know, you set up your own referral business. You know that you can put out there, it becomes your side hustle, and then uh, we'll help you with the website and the forms and everything, right? So that people can get on your website, they can start booking and doing all of that, and then we work together. Then you can start making money, right? You know, so if you want to make just little money, you just refer like five people make uh, 500 bucks, 10 people make a thousand bucks, right? But if you want to make some big money as well, you can say, I want to set it up as a business, I want to focus on it on my weekends and whatnot, right? And then we can get into a formal contract sort of like structure. So, guys, go check it out. You know, um, that that will be your present to me to say, coach, we want to get involved in referring, right? I, there's no expectation. I don't expect you to meet targets. And then, you know what, even if you bring one person for that month or once every three months, it's also OK. As long as we've got more people that are coming in and becoming a fetch army than 100 percent, there's no problem. These masterclasses are addictive. So much value. I gift. Thank you so much, boss. I see you. Thank you so much, boss. I, I, I really, really appreciate you. You know, guys, as long as I'm adding value, I am happy. Right. So, guys, go to the website, navigate it. Please do me a favor. Right. When you get on the YouTube channel, guys, please like the videos. 
and subscribe to the videos even if you watch the video you don't finish it because i understand they're long sometimes you need to listen to them in bits and pieces right because these master classes are one hour long just take it five 15 minutes 15 minutes 10 minutes 10 minutes right uh but please just like and subscribe while you are there okay we've hit 30k likes guys you don't know how much i appreciate you this is this is nice this is big okay so guys don't leave because i'm going to give you shout outs guys before we close you know what we do right nanali has started the train hashtag fetch army guys follow nanali's train in the comments put hashtag fetch army to show that you are committing to all of these things the train has begun yes guys hashtag fetch army mamagashaga sibu okti guys keep going so that i can give you your shout outs hashtag fetch army put it in the comments while i'm busy giving you guys shout outs if you're not following me make sure that you follow christopher thank you so much for the gifts thank you so much for the share i really appreciate you coming through boss but toby Le, really 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 appreciate you um our queen of moderators um you know uh this life is nothing without you nanali my captain a uh, captain of the crowd i'm gonna leave you alone i'm no longer meddling in your portfolio you can do everything that you need to do thank you so much nanali we've reached 30k because of you kiddy i see you edward thank you for coming through and engaging Prueberry, my friend, I see you. Shamin Shabalala, I'm starting to see you a lot. Thank you for coming through. Mamtolo, now a hundred percent regular. Thank you for coming through. Blungi say I see you. Mr. Gift, another regular. I see you, Mr. Unchained, another regular. I see you guys. Mama Gashaga, regular. I see you guys. M Precious, I see you. User 5192. Please change your name so that I can give you a shout out. But I see you. TL, I see you. Non Tobago, I see you. Surprise, I see you. Okti, Captain. I see you. Uh, Sibu Mazibuga, I see you. Isien, welcome back. I haven't seen you in a long time. I see you. Kunge Delicacy, another regular here. I see you. Lebo Hang Milk, I see you. User 7592. Please put a profile picture and a name so that I can give you a shout out. Bold Orenda, welcome back. I see you. Ike Puelim Nyama, Skim, I see you. Thank you for coming through. Sipo, I see you. E2 Smiles, yay. I'm loving the engagement. I see you. Kez, thank you for the engagement. I see you. Really appreciate you. Uh, Lady D, I see you. PC Matt, welcome back. I see you. Fifi Dramatic, yes, we did miss you. Welcome back. I see you. Fendi, I see you. Um, Fendi's doing big things as well. You know, all the best to you. User 2032, the one with the red top. When I the one with the red top, I said you must change your name so that I can give you a proper shout out. You come back again as user 1 million. But I see you. I am pretty. I see you. Guys, please enjoy the weekend. Please be safe, right? Use this weekend. When you find 10 minutes gap, just go through a couple of some videos, like and subscribe on YouTube. But guys, I really appreciate you. Go check out the website. Go check out the socials. But I want you guys to always remember one thing. You guys are the Fetch Army. Sharp, sharp, guys. I will see you on Monday, 2 o'clock.